Hello, my name is John Sayer, Technical Marketing Manager, Civil Infrastructure here at Autodesk. Today I'd like to talk to you about one of the What's New features in AutoCAD Civil 3D 2016, Working with Point Clouds. When using AutoCAD Civil 3D 2016, you can also take advantage of new or enhanced tools in Autodesk AutoCAD 2016. When working with Point Clouds, you will see product enhancements such as Point Cloud Object Snaps, Point Cloud Crop States, and in addition to the Point Cloud Manager that displays the on-off buttons for scans and regions that you would be applying inside of Recap. This gives you more functionality for the user to visual, visually display and use the Point Cloud data. So let's take a look. I'm going to bring in a Point Cloud here and I'm going to use the XREF Manager to bring it in. There's a couple different ways we could bring it in, but for now I'm going to just bring it in through the XREF Manager. So I'm going to drop down and select Attach my point cloud, and I've got a point cloud out here. I can use either a, an RCP file or, or RCS file from Recap. I'm going to go ahead and add it. You'll see it looks much like uh, when you add a XREF to a drawing. Just go ahead and select the defaults here, and my point cloud is in my drawing. Now, once I select the point cloud, I get a contextual tab in my ribbon. I can start to manipulate the point cloud with using some of the tools inside of this ribbon. So I can change my point size. So if I zoom in here, right, I can pick an area where I'm going to really try and work. And I can grab point size here and I can move that up and down. So that would change the point size. So if there was a grouping of points that wasn't near this tight, then you might increase the size of the points so that you can see them a little bit better. In this particular case, this cloud, there's a lot of points, so I'm not going to need to do that. I can actually change the level of detail, so I can move the level of detail back. This is also going to allow you to use the cloud more efficiently and keep resources in your drawing file a little bit more tolerable sometimes if there are larger clouds that you're working with. Also, I'm going to draw a polyline here, and that's just a plain polyline. Um, select my my cloud again and you can see if I turn the level of detail down I can then see the polyline that's underneath the point cloud okay also I can also change what's called the transparency so I can I can change the transparency or set it or pull it forward closer to a hundred and I can see my polyline underneath also if I didn't want to work with this entire this entire point cloud all at once maybe it was really heavy bigger than what this one is this is about a half mile long of road and maybe I don't want to work with the entire point cloud because it's just tasking my machine uh, we can we can do what's called cropping so I can I can crop by three different methods I can crop a rectangular crop polygonal crop and a circular crop so let's just grab rectangular and I just need to use this area and now I'm just utilizing and regenerating this particular area so once this cloud is cropped I can, I've got a couple different things I can do also. I can, I can select invert and it flips and basically crops the area that I had selected and shows the area that I cropped before just by selecting the invert button. I can invert back and I see my area that I've cropped. Now I can select uncrop all and it shows my entire point cloud again. If this, th this particular file was generated in recap, so I had a recap scan that I had brought in and created a recap project. So when I when I attached, I attached with the recap project file. So if I if I select Point Cloud Manager, I'm able to see what's in that recap file. And notice it says regions and scans. So if I had particular regions inside of this this Point Cloud, I would be able to see those regions, and I would also be able to see all of the different scans that were added to the project. So I only have the one scan right now, so that's all I'm seeing. But if I had four or five scans that had been put together inside of Recap to create a Recap project, I would see all of those scans here. So good enhancements to the Point Cloud Manager. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and have a great day.